we'll be going over gold futures. In this video, we're going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the tunnel analysis on the 1-hour chart. We remain in negative MACD and at oversold levels with the RSI. With the 4-hour chart, we remain in negative MACD and at oversold condition with the RSI as well. As we extend out to the four daily chart, we remain in negative MACD and nearing oversold levels with the daily RSI. As for support, that will be where we made the lows back in November 30th at the price of $1,769. And as for resistance, that will be where you have the 200-day moving average, this green line at the price of $1,853. If we were to test that resistance, that price movement to the upside is roughly around 3.4% and to test support, that is around 1.4% to the downside. As for the trade idea of the week, I'll be trading GLD and my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio. My long entry is at $168.58 and that is a range here. My sell target is at $173.81. My stop loss is at $166.66. However, if I were to open a short position, my entry is at $175.12 and that is this range there. My sell, my sell target is at $170.54 and my stop loss is at $177.11. So whichever entry price were to hit first, that will be my position of the week. So how did I develop the trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, which is available in the link below, so do check it out. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, we have a 40% chance for gold futures to climb between 0 to 2%, and to the downside, a 60% chance for it to fall between 0 to negative 2%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.